Well, if you love cheesecake, and who doesn't, we have the perfect recipe for you. We're making strawberry chocolate ganache topped cheesecake. And our dessert diva, Danette Randall, joins us live in studio. There's a lot a of stuff going on here. There's a lot of action there today. Is, um, is there no more dessert diva music? Yeah, no, there, kinda... is, there is music. We're just not playing it. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, but there is music. Okay, because I always listen for that, you know, yeah. before I run up and know I have to talk to you. I can never even hear it with the other voices in my head. It's oh, just I'm crowded sorry about in there. that. I'm sorry about that. Okay, cheesecake, Tom. What do you start with? Now, parsnips. That's what we start <laughs> with. We start with parsnips. Based? No. No, listen, okay? Okay. Now, you know... Maybe you remember I've told you, cheesecakes are very simple to make, yes. yet people tend to think that they're difficult. They're intimidating. And, oh, you don't know how to do it. They're it's terrifying. intimidating. Good word, good word, intimidating. Yeah, horrifying. And I'm here to show you it's very simple. Okay. A few easy steps. All right. Um, generally, if you do have a food processor or a stand-up mixer, it's a little bit more simple, but it's hard to lug the big KitchenAid. So, so I we're brought just going to go with your the hand favorite mixer. and Jason Boyer's favorite. <laughs> The Le beaters. Okay. okay. What I have is four eight ounce packages of cream cheese. How many is that, Tom? 32 total ounces of cream cheese. Nice. <laughs> so you're just going to beat this just a little. And do you like okay. regular as opposed to if someone wants to cut the yes, fat, they can? Yes, please eat one piece and not ten and make it with the... Regular. You can do the low just fat, but just eat less, okay? Eat less, that's make just, better. That's just what I'm saying. All right. All right, cup of sugar. Okay. Two tablespoons flour. Okay. Now we're going to beat this, okay? All right. Now, another thing. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Something I... I'm right next to you. Stop it. Now we're going to do three quarters of sour cream. What I want to say is one thing about cheesecakes is you don't want to over mix this. I've said this before. It's very, very important. When you over beat the cheesecake, it... the air bubbles get in it, and that is what makes a lot of times cheesecakes crack on the top. And if you don't want to cook this in a water bath, which I Nobody tend does. to not, yeah. it's nobody a, does. Well, some people do. It's the some rumination of the cheesecake. So you're just gonna, that's why after each one, you just beat a little bit. You just want a little as beat. little bit air bubbles in it as possible. I'm really teaching you today. Yes, I'm learning I'm a great really deal. Teaching. All right, teaspoon of vanilla. 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 Now we're gonna do a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now the lemon juice with the sour cream really adds a nice tang to this and really brings out the flavor, especially with the fresh strawberries. Okay. And strawberries are really easy to find right now. They're on sale everywhere at your farmer's markets or Sunflower, King Supers, or just you know. right on a strawberry plant. Juice. Well, yeah, you could do that too. I'm gonna beat that up A, one at a time. Right. So I'm just saying, sometimes, you know, it's just the beginning of strawberry season here. So yes. you, you knew that? Yeah, oh yeah. Another egg. Now, why do you add them one at a time? Well, you want to make sure that you're not going to mix it too much, but you want to make sure that each egg is well incorporated. Oh, yeah. You want it to absorb into the cream cheese mixture. All right, so we're just going to beat this up. Now you can turn it on because you can tell we haven't beat very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah. I'm just going to smack you. Wow. Now, previous to this, what I've done is I've used chocolate graham crackers for the crust. With a spring I did about form 16 pan? graham crackers with two tablespoons, three tablespoons butter. Yes, Tom. Mix that up till the crumbs are moistened. Press this down into a spring form pan. Right. Okay? 350 degrees. Now, what I have here is two cups fresh, delicious strawberries. You cut them into little... I'm just going to toss those in. What I do is just roughly guys. chop them. That's the way that I like this cheesecake. Now, I mentioned before about the cracking on the top. Okay? Right. Right? Yes. Typically, if you don't mix it as much, that won't happen. But because the moisture from the strawberries in this mix, probably it's going to crack just a little bit. But Tom... Yes, go on. It's okay. You know why? Why? Well, because we're topping it with ganache. Oh, okay, so you fold so them you're in. Gonna do, yeah, we would take this pour... Well, what did you think we did? What did you think we I did? I just like to I use mean, words honestly, I know every now and then. Okay, so right here I have the ganache, okay? Okay. Now, what this is is just a fancy word, ganache. It's a French word actually translates to jowl. Yes. I mean, I knew you knew that. I jowl. knew you knew that. What you're going to do is for a topping, it's usually about... Why are you laughing? I'm actually teaching you no, something I'm paying and attention. you're laughing. I'm smirking, okay. not laughing. So it's... Uh, one cup heavy cream, two cups chocolate. Okay. Now you can use chocolate chips. I on the topping, that's okay. If you're making a filling, it's better to use the chocolate bars that have the less veg. You know that you can chop up, yes. and you just pour over, and you just slowly stir. Now this has been sitting for about four hours. So you can see you could use this as a filling, a frosting. You could just eat right it right like that. It looks so could, good. Please do. Please I would. Do. Okay.
He wouldn't. But anyway, so when this is done and when it's slightly warm, yeah. you pour that over the top, you let this drip. You need to make sure you refrigerate this for four to five hours overnight. So cheesecake, is, although it's simple, it's not something but that you want to make in the product. afternoon and, you know, make it at dinner. Oh, thank you. It well, is. And I just want to also say that you can start catching my recipes in the Boulder Weekly. I can? The Boulder Weekly's come out on Thursdays, and I'm going to have a little article and a little my recipe. And so, so, so I know you're excited. Monday's on the Deuce and Thursday's in the Boulder Weekly. Thursday's on the Boulder Weekly. I, I know you're excited. I mean, you're, you're gonna are you gonna run out and get the Boulder Weekly? You're like a multimedia superstar. It's, oh, Jason's, Jason's done. telling us it's time to wrap. What? He's done. The recipes <laughs> also on our website, of course, to the right. So, Danette, we're gonna definitely taste test that. Heck that is yeah. beautiful. Thank, Thank you very you. much, as always. All right, we're gonna take a break. American Idol contestants may be happy to hear this. The harsh judge, Simon Cowell, might be leaving the show. Oh. Good morning, Colorado. I'm Chris Parente. Move over, John McEnroe. I'm learning the basics here at Drop Shots Tennis. Easy, easy. Live report after the break. Your kids are going to love it. Bring your A game. Oh. Trust is a gift. It's how friends are made and bonds are formed. And it's